little update on the 486. I made the trip to my parents' house and picked up a bunch of junk. Uh, bag of old Sims. Another one there. Fan. There's other stuff. EEPROM re or writer. EEPROM eraser. Some old ISA cards. This is a Media Vision. Who knows what? Sound card. Um, Quick Shot 1993. I don't know if we ever used this. I think it just showed up at some garage sale or something. We bought it. And a modem for good measure. And this is a ESS audio drive. Um, it's got an IDE thingamajig. Um, we, obviously, we used this one at some point because I <laughs> marked little icons on there to remember which one was which. Um, some old laptop hard drive out of a compact that we destroyed. A Pokemon box. Whatever. These are some old, old Matrox. How big are these? These are about a gig. Can't remember exactly. There's two of them. Um, and they're not identical. Anyway, and I've got some floppies. I've got a shit ton of brand new floppies that I found. Um, I found a 486DX2, which I tried and does not work in this computer. Like I said for my other video, I'm going to have to get a 486 overdrive or a Pentium overdrive for that thing. Uh, that's about it. Oh, I've got this, which is pretty interesting. This is... An Exatron Stringy Floppy. Um, this particular one is for a TRS-80, which we never owned. Uh, we found this at a garage sale a while back and couldn't pass it up. It's got all the original printouts and everything, manuals. I'm going to probably find a new owner for that. So if anyone has a TRS-80 out there and wants a really obscure disk drive, let me know. Um, these are the discs it uses. They call them wafers, and it's a uh, continuous tape. They're not floppies, obviously. It's a it's a tape drive. Uh, pretty interesting. Here's the actual drive for it. Or I guess I could try and find myself a TRS-80, which shouldn't be that hard. I don't think they're that expensive anyway. I figured I would take that back here and do some more research on it. Make offer. <laughs> anyway, back to the 486. I tried all of the sticks of RAM that I could find. Um, and I couldn't seem to find the 16 meg stick that we bought that I mentioned in the previous video. I th thought I knew which one it was, but it doesn't work in here. And I know it did work in here at some point. Which is weird. Like, half the sticks didn't work. Which sucks. Um, three of them, I think. Two or three of them that worked were just two meg sticks, which is what was already in here was two two meg sticks. But I found these two that work. And these are both eight meg. So I've got 16 megs in here now. And for the first time ever, this computer has a CD-ROM drive that works. Uh, back in the day, we bought a CD-ROM drive at a garage sale or something, and I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to set it up with MSCDEX. We didn't actually have the drivers for it, which I think was the problem why we could never get it to actually work. Um, this is actually the CD-ROM out of our Compaq, which was our first new computer that we bought. Um, Trying to think of when that was. Anyway, it was that uh, kind of Pentium 3 era. I think ours was a Celeron 450, maybe. Um, 
the ones with the plastic colored face plates that you could change the color of. You could take the whole face plate off and the little CD thing that you pop out and you could hold CDs in the front of it. Anyway, this is the CD-ROM from that. And it was the only regular CD-ROM drive that I could find over there. We must have gutted or sold or something all the ancient junk ones that we had. So this being a relatively new drive, I was kind of concerned that maybe it wouldn't work. Um, actually, it says on there May 2000 is the manufacturer date. Um, I think it's a 40X or whatever, you know, just your generic early 2000s CD-ROM drive, basic. Um, luckily, I found on CD-ROMdrivers.com or whatever that website was, uh, the drivers for it, DOS drivers. Um, it's actually a Samsung drive, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, I'm installing Windows 95. Um, we did have 95 on this at one point. Uh, we installed it from floppies. I think we borrowed borrowed a set of floppies from someone. Probably. Um, and it ran like crap, <laughs> I remember. Could be the case after this is done installing that it still runs like crap. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I guess that's where I'm at right now. I, I thought that the uh, CD-ROM drive wasn't working. I put an audio CD in it and it wouldn't, DOS wouldn't find any files on it. I was like, crap. Oh, the uh, CD-ROM drivers that I downloaded actually came with a automatic like setup install executable that automatically edited, edited uh, autoexecute.bat and config.sys for you so you didn't have to I, I even though I spent like an hour today reading up on MSCDEX setup and commands and and file editing and stuff like that uh, I totally didn't need to learn any of it because the installer totally worked so yeah once I I burned a copy of uh, Windows 95 which is stupid because I have four or five original discs sitting at my parents' house, and I even thought about taking one with me, but I didn't for some reason. So I just downloaded a copy of it, slammed it in the drive, read just fine. Uh, unfortunately, I downloaded the OEM version, which does not have upgrade capabilities. So I had to re-download the upgrade, retail upgrade copy version. Um, and yeah, it's working just great. So that's where we're at so far. I need to, it's just kind of held in there by gravity. I need to find some of those uh, screws. I don't know what happened to my tin full of computer screws. They seem to have disappeared. But that's not a big problem. So, uh, yep, 46 is coming back. And uh, hopefully I will find a 46 overdrive upgrade coprocessor processor thingy, uh, which will allow me to, which is, <laughs> this is the main, uh, the main wanting, the main need to upgrade this thing in my mind is so that I can play Retro CD Rampage. <laughs> so, because I downloaded that and it needs the math coprocessor, no! Um, yeah, this is a long video, nine minutes already, me rambling. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.